afternoon, Brodus. Good afternoon, Doc. How is everything doing? How are you doing today? Not doing too good. I actually don't even want to be here. And why is that? I'm having problems, Doc. You know, stuff going through my mind, going through my head, and it, it haunts me. You know, I, I hear voices in my head. They, they counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. Now, these voices you're hearing in your head, is it, um, what, how is it affecting your relationships? My relationships? You know the last relationship I was in? I beat her half to death. I grabbed this girl, and I grabbed her around the throat, and I said, listen to me, you. You better listen, or I'll strangle you to death. And I liked it. <laughs> okay, so it seems to me like you have problems controlling your anger, or you're, you're too aggressive. Is that, is that uh... You know, they tell me, they tell me I'm too aggressive, but I don't see it. You know, I, I, I think everybody acts like this. Doc, let me ask you something. You're driving along at night, right? And, and this asshole's right next to you in the car, and you see him, and he's trying to pass, and you say, no way, asshole, you're not passing me, right? And the guy flips you off, and then you're like, hey, hey, don't you do that to me, and don't you just want to kill this guy? I think any normal human being will have some anger in him. And a you see, like that occurs. you see, we think the same, you and me. You relate to me, Doc. I can understand you. Okay, well, that is good, but now I want to I wanna see You're so... You're right, it's good. I want to I wanna ask you, how long has this uh, been affecting? How long have you been having these issues of controlling this anger you have inside you, this aggressiveness? Oh, ever since I was a kid. You know what happened when I was a kid? The house burned down, and I wasn't the one who did it. Or so I said. <laughs> what really happened was I blamed it on my brother. And you know what happened when the house burned down? I watched it. I watched the fire and I watched the ash and the embers and everything tumbling down around me. And I said, I love it. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> okay, so that was a sign, that was a way of you relieving your, your stress. That was a way of relieving That's right. all the anger tension that built up inside you. Exactly. Okay. I had a lot of it, and I still got it. And how is it affecting you today, your, your present, your current relationships? Oh, my current relationships. Well, I told you about that dead broad, right? So, they arrested me. Can you believe it? Here she is, being a bitch, and I'm the one who gets arrested. Is that right? Mm. That's not right, is it, Doc? No. No. So no, no. Well... I'm on parole right now, do you know that? Okay. Yes, and we have to establish a relationship. So, I want to ask you something. Whatever, just say whatever comes to your mind. Whatever, whatever you feel, just, just say. Just keep All right. speaking. Don't hesitate on what you think. Just. What? You want me to just talk? You want me to say whatever I want? I'll tell you what, Doc. I get these visions. You see, I get visions where I'm three different people. Ooh, I, at one point, I could be a weird guy with a mask, and he rocks back and forth, and, and he mutters to himself, and he hits himself. You see, Doc? And, and I pull my hair out of my head. And then the next moment, I'll be, I'll be a, a 70s boogie-down hippie, and I'll be wearing tie-dye clothes, and, 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 I'll be, and I'll be dancing, I'll be dancing the Charleston Doc, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And then, and then I'll turn into a maniac, a maniac who runs around with barbed wire, just hitting people and cutting people. You, you understand what I'm saying, Doc? Okay, but now, one of the things you said, you said you mentioned dancing. Yeah. Now, is dancing an activity you like? To do? Well, I mean, in, in some aspects, I mean, when I killed that girl, I danced all over her corpse, <laughs> like a celebration, you know what I'm saying? It's fun. It's real fun. Oh. Uh, okay. 
Now I want to ask you something. What? What? What do you want to ask me? What have you? Uh, have you had any dreams lately? Any dreams? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I've got. I've got a ton of dreams. See, I think, like, I was. I woke up. In the dream, I was asleep, but I was awake. <laughs> and so I was punching through doors, and um, and and I I saw this guy, right? And the, and the guy started talking about embrace the hate, embrace the hate. So you know what I did? I took him and I smashed him, and I punched that guy right in his face. And then the face turned into a wall, and I punched through the wall, and then I kicked through another wall, and I opened the door, and you know what I saw? I saw my father, and my father. Oh, my father was doing things to my mother that I only seen in some porno movies, Doc, and not the good ones. The ones where the, the chick dies at the end. You know, he's beating her and choking her, and I thought, Stop it, Dad, what are you doing? And, and I couldn't do nothing. And, and that's when I woke up, and I was in a pool of blood. Or so I thought. It was really Kool-Aid from the uh, nightstand that I accidentally oh, poured okay. all over myself. Yes. Which was a big relief to me. So you mentioned in the stream, you were punching through these walls, and after that you said you saw your dad That's after right. these walls. And you saw, and your dad was telling you to embrace the hate. Yes. As you were saying. Okay. Now. Should I embrace it? Now let me ask you something. Now. I asked you a question. Well, let me, uh, I'm sorry if there's any. Uh, no, as of for this session, let's keep it on a, on a uh, let's keep it behind, you know, on the low. But now I want to say something to you. When you're, it seems like you have problems with your problems with your dad. It seems like you carry this this uh, anger or hate, hostility towards your father since you were a kid. And you said something. You you like the dad something about your dad. You only see things what your dad did in porn movies, like beating uh, a person up in the movies. Now, who did your dad beat up? In the, in the, my mom. Your dad beat up your mother, okay. My mom's dead. She wasn't that way before. Do you understand what I'm saying? My dad killed her. Okay. Your dad killed her. And now, where's your dad now? Well, he's dead too. Remember that fire I told you about? Yes. Well, what do you think killed him? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. So you have some issues with hostility. Now, but have you paid time for it? You did time, right? And of course I did. You did time, yes. Why do you think my parole officer is outside? So, it seems to me yeah. that, you know, your dad, he had these, uh, he was very, you say, he was also, he, he never touched you, but he, he you, see, you see him hit your mother like, yeah. on, a daily, on a regular basis. When I you were used a kid. to, yeah, and I couldn't do nothing about it. Okay, and you couldn't do nothing about it. Exactly. Now, now it seems like from that, in your childhood memory, it seems like, you did that now, and it seems like you're trying to project your emotions as a defense by projecting to whoever's in your relationship in the current time, in the current time frame. Mmm, that makes sense. So, it seems like, and the dreams you're telling me, the dreams also tell me that you were, you were trying to get to your dad, you wanted, you were struggling to do something, going through the walls. It seemed like you were trying to, you wanted to help your mother out so much. You wanted to break through those walls, but it seemed like you couldn't. It seems like Eric, there was all these walls, and when you saw your dad, you just froze, and your dad told you to embrace the hate. And he, from there, it seems like you just couldn't do anything about it. Exactly. And, but you, you wanted to. You were punching, you wanted, you, you I wanted to. I wanted to. I still want to. Yeah. So, I want to just say, uh, it seems like now you're using a defense mechanism called projection. And you're projecting onto innocent people. Mm, is that okay. what I'm doing? Yes. And it seems like you need you also have some anger management issues 
which need to Do be I? resolved. So what I suggest is, uh, could you think of more healthy ways to release the anger? Like, uh, for example, do you have a boxing bag in your house? No. I do. I let all my, all my fists do the talking. Okay. On people's faces. Okay. Now, have you done any wrestling? Like, have you ever on a wrestling team or any I tried out for the wrestling team. Oh, wow. Oh. And you know what happened? Okay. I started hurting people for real. Yeah. And I hurt them too much. And they kicked me off the team when I snapped this guy's bones. Okay. And since then, and then I guess you were, dis you could, you were disqualified after. Obviously. So what am I supposed to do, Doc? I'm starting to get pissed off here. Mm. Well, it seems like you're finally, it seems like, and you're unconscious, right? The only reason why you're doing all these, uh, you're releasing the anger on everybody is because you, you, it seems like your unconscious feelings are, you repress these bad memories of what your dad did, some of them. So now it seems like you're, uh, you're trying to, trying to relive that moment so you can defend your mother by projecting your feelings on other people. So what I want you to do. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Okay, um, I don't know if this will help, but, uh, you ever try meditating? Meditating? No, but I tell you what I am thinking. I'm thinking that you're starting to look like my father. I'm thinking that maybe this whole thing has been a sham. I'm thinking that maybe... You're the hey, one hey, hey, that hey, I brought his hey, hey, no, get no, out of here. Hey, no, 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 no,